All right, as I was working on getting the foam painted and the dirt on it, I realized that I kind of went a little too far ahead again and actually needed to work on getting the LEDs into at least this top piece of the foam where I had already painted and put dirt on. So one thing I did was went through and I got a set of white Christmas lights one year when they were half off from after Christmas, you know, at the stores. And I went through and have cut all of them and put LE or put resistors on the side that needs it and have gone through and tested all of them to make sure that they're working with just this coin cell that I had laying around. So I am going to get working on that, getting them placed in these spots where I've taken the router and done out a hole. And we'll just start getting the wires put in for that and we'll go from there. So I will start working on that and be back in just a bit. Okay, I've made some progress on the lighting for the mine. I've only been able to get two layers done on it, just as it's uh, kind of a slow process, or at least I'm going slow just to make sure I don't mess anything up. I did change the way I am doing it, in that at first I said I was just, just going to bridge the LEDs. And as I was trying to get two wires and the LED connector here, or the LED leads soldered together, I realized it was going to be a big pain and kind of a waste of time. And what I ended up doing is just running a wire all the way through and then just stripping a little spot open up for it and soldering the wires to that, or the LEDs to those wires that way. And that's the way I should have been doing it to begin with. And I'm glad I got smart and started to do that on this first layer since i had these big cavities of where i had routed out for the leds to be sitting in i remember seeing and hearing i don't remember where i had seen it but an idea of using hot glue to act as a diffuser for the light and actually you know and in a way act as kind of a fiber optic and decided to fill that in and I'm glad I did it does look pretty cool I'll put a picture on there of what it looks like with the lights on the other thing is I was able to get the next layer on here as well and ended up having to redo some of the LEDs because I tried the same trick of using, making a dome with the hot glue. And it actually just turned out to be way too tall for something that would be in an end scale mine. And as I was tearing it off, some of them broke and just had to rewire it. But even though... The LEDs are sticking out on here, and let's see if I can get it over without making a bunch of stuff fall down. Here, where the entrance is at, I was able to hide it a little bit with just a little bit of hot glue, and I'll clean it up with some paint and dirt, and figured that they would be... Lisa's story is that they put in some bigger spotlights. So that is the progress so far. I'm hoping to get the rest of it done tonight as I only have, I believe, two more layers to do lights in. And so, yep, yeah, just two more layers for lights. So I'm going to try and get that all done tonight so that... I can then start working on the painting and getting the dirt on. 
So I'm going to get back working on that and be back in just a bit. And I'm at a point that I don't remember if I have filmed me doing this or not. So I'm going to hurry and grab a clip of this. But all I'm doing is using burnt umber and just going along with it with this foam brush and just painting in it. Just being careful around the LEDs. Since I don't want to paint over them. And I've actually just been using a smaller brush to go up along the edge. take my mixture of my sifted dirt I should say I'm just dumping it out onto off onto my table if I'd been smarter I would have put some newspaper down and would have an easy way to suck it back up and reuse it but... Thank you. 
do it. And if we just double check just to make sure the light still shines through, and it does, so. Move that just a hair to see that. So that is all I'm doing with that. I'm going to keep going with it. It's a little slow boat, slow going with it, with just my available space that I have to work on things. And well, not really available space, but just really drying time and not having things strewn about the space that I have. So with that, that's all that I do for at least what I am doing for the mind pieces. And just we'll keep doing work on that and give an update when I get a little more done.